All right, today I'm going to show you how to do partial products. Before we start, let's think about the words partial and products. Again, with partial, we're thinking about the parts of the number, and we're also talking about products, which means to multiply. So, let's start with the number like 28. We're going to multiply that by 54. Now, at first, we see a two-digit number, we see another two-digit number. Here's what we're going to do. 28, we're going to break it into parts. 28, well, the number in the tenths place is 20, and the number in the ones place is 8. So if we do 20 plus 8, that's going to give us 28. 54, we're going to break that into parts. number in our tenths place is 50, and our number in the ones place is 4. Now, I'm going to draw some parentheses because you're going to be thinking this in your head in about six minutes as we take a look at that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the parts. I'm going to use my red marker to show you the ways I'm going to multiply. So I'm going to do 20 times 50. Now, if you remember your zeros trick, we have two zeros. I'm going to write those down. 2 times 5 is 10. So that's 1,000. Next, we're going to multiply 20 times 4. Again, you have a 0. 2 times 4 is 80. Now we're going to do 50 times 8. See a 0 there as well. 5 times 8 is 40. And then last, we're going to do 8 times 4. 8 times 4 is 32. Now here's the question. How do you know when to stop? Well, you know when to stop when you've done these four and when you fill that in, it looks kind of like a bow tie. So if you do that, you know, hey, I've multiplied all the numbers. Now all I need to do is add. 0, 0, 0, and 2 is 2. 0 plus 8 plus 0 plus 3 is 11. 1 plus 0 plus 4 is 5. Our 1 comes straight down, and we have 1,512. So we're going to start off with that. I'll show you another problem. And we'll use our thinking parentheses over there. Again, you want to remember that you're going to separate these numbers into parts. So you have a tens and a one. So I'm going to give you the number 36. Multiply that by 47. So parts. Multiply products. 36. Well, in our tens place, we have 30. In our ones place, we have 6 for 47. In our tenths place, we have 40. In our ones place, we have 7. So 30 plus 6 is 36. 40 plus 7 equals 47. Again, let's think that bow tie 30 times 40. So here I have two zeros. Jot those down. 3 times 4 is 12. 30 times 7, I see one zero. Now 3 times 7 is 21. 40 times 6, see 1, 0. 4 times 6 is 24. 6 times 7 is 42. So I'll write 42 down. Now I see that we do have our bow tie, which means we've done all the correct ones. Now all we have to do is add. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. 0 plus 1 plus 4 plus 4 is 9. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. And 1 comes straight down. So we have an answer of 1,692. So I want you to remember that anything that was done in the parentheses, these past two problems, are really what we're thinking about in our head. Now I'm going to show you how to do this problem in your head. I'm not going to write it down here, though. So we'll take that down. And erase these parts. I'll give you another example. Let's do 85 times 41. Now, let's talk about it. Let's think about what makes 85. 80 plus 5. What makes 41? 40 plus 1. Let's think that. We're going to do this in our head. So let's start by doing 80 times 40. Well, 80 has a 0, 
40 has a 0. E times 4 is 32. Okay, so in our head we just did this. We just found this answer. Next we're going to do 80 times 1. 80 has 1 0. 8 times 1 is 8. Well, if we remember, we just did 80 times 1. Next we have 40 times 5. 40 has 1 0. 4 times 5 is 20. So we just did this one. times 5. The last part, you guessed it, to complete our bow tie, 5 times 1, or 5 times 1 here, gives us 5. We've completed our bow tie. Let's add them together. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5. 0 plus 8 plus 0 is 8. 2 plus 2 is 4, and 3 comes straight down. It gives us our answer of 3,000 485. Now, I'm going to give you a problem, and what I'd like you to do is come back to part two. Actually, I'm going to give you two problems. When you come back to part two, we'll solve both of those, and let's see how you did in solving those. Remember that if you want to use this bubble right here, kind of to symbolize what we're thinking about, you should have two numbers in the tens place and two numbers in the ones place. So I'm going to give you these problems. I'll give you 62 times 47. So that's the first problem. If you'd like to use your memory bubble, you could do that. And then for the second problem, I'm going to give you 34 multiplied by 55. I'm not going to draw the memory bubble over here, but if you'd like to do that, you're welcome to, to help you solve this problem. So come back to part two, and you can check your answer for 62 times 47. You can also check your answer for 34 minus 55. So I'll see you back in part two.